everyone, and welcome back to the My Favorite Things YouTube channel. This is Mindy Egan. I have a fun card project to share with you today featuring the Frosty Beer Mug from My Favorite Things. It's really hard to live in Wisconsin and not create a card with the Frosty Beer Mug. Here's a look at the two things I will be using today in the video. I have the Here's to You stamp set and also the Frosty Beer Mug Dynamics. I'm starting out by creating the background for my pieces, starting with white cardstock and some pumice stone distress oxide ink. I'm just throwing on a really light layer of this. This is going to be kind of the background of my brick stencil. I'm envisioning uh, kind of the cement that's in between the bricks or that holds the bricks together. This doesn't have to be a perfect layer. It can be very spotty, sketchy, does not have to be perfectly blended. Next, I have the brick wall stencil that I'm just holding down with my magnets on my Make Art Station. And I am starting with Fired Brick Distress Oxide Ink and a blending tool, just going over the entire background with this. Next, I'm going to bring in Aged Mahogany. So I'm just going to place this here and there on that background. I wanted some light and darker areas, kind of giving the look of, you know, some of the brick wall looks better than the other. The main thing about this background is I'm thinking kind of like Cheers, that, that bar with the brick walls. I think it had brick walls, but I wanted it to be worn. I wanted it to be kind of used. Next, I'm going to create my bar. So my beer mug is going to sit on a bar. I have white cardstock here that is 80 pound, and I'm taking vintage photo, and I'm just dragging that across the bottom portion of this. I'm going to end up trimming this down, but I'm dragging it across to kind of give that weathered look, that textured look. And I even like that spot in the middle where I purposely started my ink pad so it looks like uh, planks of wood. Next, I have my beer mug that I'm going to cut from some vanilla cardstock. And the other two pieces are cut from white. I'm going to ink blend this smaller piece. This is the piece that's going to layer inside or on top of my beer mug. I started with scattered straw, distress oxide. Then at the bottom of it, I brought in mustard seed. And to really give that a look um, of the bottom of a beer mug, I'm bringing in tea dye ink, just to add a little bit of that color. Now, something really fun that you can do with your beer mug is take a little bit of water, spritz it on your mat, pick it up with a clean paintbrush, and then just flick this water all over that. Because the oxides react with water, I'm gonna let it sit there for just a couple seconds and then dab it with a paper towel. And now we have all these kind of suds in our beer. Next, I'm taking liquid, liquid applique, and this is really fun to use. I usually only use it in the winter times for snow or for Santa's beard, but this is also great for your beer mug, so the top of your beer mug. And I am just kind of using circular motions going around it. I'm leaving the outer edge white so I have somewhere to hang onto it, and I'm also doing just a thin layer. Now I have my heat tool, I have it all warmed up and I'm going to heat up this liquid applique. If you haven't used this before, it is just as magical as heat embossing. So when we heat this, it's puffing up. And I'm gonna show you a close look. It's kind of like when popcorn pops, it's really cool. So once I have that all heated up, I don't have any liquid left, I'll bring this closer and you're gonna see how fun that gives this such great texture to that. I'm going to assemble my beer bunk. So I just put some of the dot runner on top of my blended piece and added it to my beer mug that's cut from the vanilla cardstock and also adding my liquid applique top there. Now I have a card base here that I'm just scoring at four and a quarter. So it's going to be an A2 size card base. And I'm gonna reinforce that fold with my bone folder. Before I get too carried away, I better stamp out my sentiment. So I picked one off of the Here's to You stamp set. There is a lot of really great stamp sets in here. And I actually recreated this card so I could put in another sentiment. So I have these on hand to give. I have a lot of friends that drink beer and I think would really enjoy this card. So I stamped this sentiment in the MFT Extreme Black Ink. And I'm trimming this down with my paper trimmer. Now I can work on the assembly of my card. Starting with my card base that I'm holding shut with some low tech tape. And I have this placed in my Misty tool just to keep it in the same spot. I add a dot runner to the back of my brick background. And I like to use the Misty for this purpose because it kind of keeps everything in place for me and helps me make sure that I'm aligning my panel evenly. I'm just trimming my bar down just a little bit so I can get rid of that white spot that was at the top. And then I'm adding tape runner to this. 
and adding it to my front panel. Now my brick wall background, I did trim down to three and three quarters by five inches. So the bar I trimmed to three and three quarters as well. And then just whatever size this is, maybe about an inch, inch and a quarter, however much I had kind of swiped that ink pad across. I have my beer mug and my sentiment lined with foam tape. I started by adding my sentiment first and centering that at the top. Then I could center my beer mug under the sentiment. It was a lot easier that way because the handle always kind of throws me off. So that finishes up my cart project for today with my frosted beer mug. I think it'd be even cool to have a couple beer mugs in the background so it's kind of lining the back of the bar. I hope you try some of these techniques in your next card. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. See you again soon.